With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, so here is a question, it says that equation of the locus of all points such that the difference of its distances from minus 3 comma minus 7 and minus 3 comma 3 is 8. Okay, so we have to find out the locus of all those points whose distances from whose difference of distances from these two points is 8. Okay, so let's find out. Let, let's take any point on that locus as x comma y, right? So we have to find out the locus for this point. Now the distance of this point from minus 3 comma minus 7 will be x plus 3 whole square plus y plus 7 whole square under root right minus different uh, distance of this point from minus 3 comma 3. So that will be under root of x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square right and the dis uh, difference of these distances is given to us as 8. Right, so I can write this as under root of x plus 3 whole square plus y plus 7 whole square equals to 8 plus square root of x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square. Right now, let's square both the sides. Right, so if I square both these sides, we will have here the square root will be cancelled. Right, with this square, so we will have x plus 3 whole square plus y plus 7 whole square equals to here we will have 8 square plus square of this root right so that will be x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square plus 2 times of a into b so 2 into a that is 16 into square root right so that will be 16 into under root of x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square right so here x plus 3 square will be cancelled. So let's simplify this thing. Here this will become y square plus 49 plus 14y equals to 64 plus. This will become y square plus 9 minus 6y plus 16 square root of x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square. Right. So here y square will be cancelled. And we will have 14y plus 6y that is equal to 20y, 14, 9, minus 64, minus 16, minus 9, right? So that will become minus 24 equals to 16 into square root of this thing, so right? So I am taking this 16 to the alleges, so that will come in the denominator and here we will have square root of x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square, right? So... If I divide this by 4, this will become 5y minus 6 divided by 4 equals to square root of x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square, right? So, let's square both the sides again. So, this time this will become a minus b whole square, right? So, that will be 16, sorry, 5 square, that is 25y square, square plus 36 minus 2a into b so that will be 60y equals to 16 times of this thing that is x plus 3 whole square y minus 3 whole square right so let's simplify this thing so this will become 25y square plus 36 minus 60y equals to 16 into x plus 3 whole square plus 16 in bracket y square plus 9 minus 6y right so let's simplify this further so we will have 16 into x plus 3 whole square i am taking this 25y square this side right so that will be 16y square minus 25y square that is minus 9y square and then 16 into 9 minus 36 so that will be equal to plus 108 and then 16 into 6y plus 60y. So that will be minus 36y equals to 0. Right. So that will become 16 into x plus 3 whole square minus. I am taking 9 common. I am taking minus 9 common from here. Right. So in bracket we will have y square plus 4y 
minus 12 equals to 0, right? Or I can write this as 16 into x plus 3 whole square minus 9 in bracket y square. I can write this 4y as, okay, let it be like this. I can write this 12 as plus 4 minus 16 equals to 0, right? Now, let's simplify it further. So, in the last step, we had this thing, right? So, I can write this as 16 into x plus 3 whole square minus 9 in bracket. I can write this as, I can write this thing as y plus 2 whole square, right? And we will have this minus 16 left here, right? So, that will become minus 9 into minus 16, that is plus 144 equals to 0, right? So, now if I divide whole this thing with 144, this will become 16 by 144 into x plus 3 whole square minus 9 by 144 into y plus 2 whole square plus 1 equals to 0, right? So, 16 by 144 is basically 9, 1 by 9, right? So, that will be x plus 3 whole square by 9 minus, this is 1 by 16. So, that will be y plus 2 whole square by 16 and I can take this 1 to the RHS, right? So, this will become equal to minus 1, okay? So, this is a final locus for a point under the given conditions, okay? So, this will be our answer. So, among the given options, option B gives this same locus, right? So, our answer will be option B, okay? I hope this will help you. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.